Hi, my name is Nathan Supercole, and today we're going to be talking about a guest closet. Yeah. Now I was like, Nathan, what's a what's a, what's a guest closet? Uh, stay with me. It's not as boring as it sounds. It's not the closet where the guest is going to store their clothes or anything like that. It's a closet where guests are going to be able to find what they need for their stay. Uh, and these are things that like, they don't need all the time, but they need sometimes. A little bit of background. I'm a real estate photographer, also an Airbnb super host. I was hired to shoot this property here in Seattle and it's a big property. It, it has 7,000 square feet and uh, it has 14 bedrooms and it's just me and Betty. So we don't need 14 bedrooms. So I was thinking about this house with the intention of renting it out. Uh, so yeah, we rent out 10 of the bedrooms. The, the guest side is separate from our side of the house. So, you know, we don't share any of the same spaces except the backyard and driveway. So this is gonna serve two purposes. It's gonna give the guests a better experience by allowing them to easily access things that they need. And these aren't things that they need all the time. These are like things that they won't necessarily pack or things that an Airbnb host won't necessarily think of. You know, maybe it's somewhere in the house, but it's not like readily accessible. And also it's gonna save me some headache by not having to answer sporadic uh, messages and requests for things like, hey Nathan, where is this? Hey Nathan, where can I find that? Those requests, they're, they're not super frequent, uh, but they come, they come, you know, a couple times a month. It's at super random times. Like sometimes I'll be, you know, on a photo shoot and I can't, you know, I don't know where something is or it's something that's on our side of the house and I, you know, and they can't, you know, I need to go home and give it to them when I, when I get home or something like that or when I'm pooping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's happened. Okay, the notifications aren't that bad, but life would be a little better without them, I guess. Right? Of course, of course, it, of course it would. So back to the guest closet. So I'm gonna go through the things that I wanna put in there and the reason behind it. And I'm gonna go through the cost with you guys. I'll go through the install and I'll go through how I'm gonna organize it. All right, so this closet needs to be easily accessible and hyper organized. And what I mean by accessible is like, it, it can't be in an, obscure place. It's going to be a easy to find closet like in the main hallway uh, and hyper organized. Uh, everything's going to be labeled. Everything's going to have its own spot. Like, you know, like it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be have like, you know, the each each thing is going to have plenty of space. It's going to be clear where that thing goes, where that thing is so that you know, when a guest goes in to look for something, it's it's there and like they can easily find it and pick it out and they can also easily put it back because that's a big problem too. And also it's gonna help me uh, be able to peek in and see if anything's missing, if anything needs to be replenished um, or, or replaced. So the number one most requested thing is a vacuum, which is good. I, I wanna provide them with a vacuum. To, it helps me out, you know, when they move out, you know, keeps their keeps keeps the house cleaner. So I do want uh, them to have their own designated one. That way you know, it's, it's theirs to use. Um, it, or it's you know for the guest to use it'll go back to its specific spot all the time and along those lines i have a broom and dustpan and also a swiffer uh probably one of those wet ones because i've been asked uh, you know to for a mop sometimes but no one's going to clean a mop properly and then some paper towels um probably a cleaning solution too you know just some simple green or something like that and some clorox wipes the next most requested thing is a printer. Well, people aren't asking me for printers, but people are asking me to print stuff for them. So I think if I have a printer for them to use, a really simple one, basic one, like no color, black and white, it's totally fine. So laser monochrome printer, which is a little more expensive than a traditional inkjet printer, but the cost of the not having the ink will offset the cost of the, the printer. The rest are kind of like, I've been asked for them occasionally or, or things that I think should definitely you know, be be in there just in case. One of those just in case things are a first aid kit. No one's needed a first aid kit. 
that I know of. <laughs> but yeah, I think having one there will give me peace of mind and also fire stuff like like a fire extinguisher. And I think I'm going to go with like those cans. They have those cans now that yeah, they're not as intimidating as like a full on fire extinguisher. And then a tool set, like a like a basic apartment tool set, not necessarily super high quality. That way, if something gets lost, I can replace it cheaply. The most common tools, so just to make sure I you know find a set that has these things: screwdriver, um, tape measure, and bubble level. Those are the, probably the most. Not not. I mean, people aren't asking for that stuff like that often, but you know, those are those are the things off the top of my head that people have asked for. Other things: plunger. You know, so seven of the 10 rooms have their own half bath. I, I didn't put a plunger in each room because eh, it's not necessary. It's not, it's not nice looking. So yeah, maybe a common plunger, you know, for use in emergency purposes, right? That, Cause that's the only use for a plunger, emergency purposes. Uh, some extra tissue, paper towels, and toilet paper, and then an iron an ironing board. I've had this requested more so when I was doing short-term rentals. People needed that for interviews and weddings and, and events and, and date nights and things like that. A hair dryer and a space heater. You know, a space heater, one of those little room heaters, because this house does have central heating and cooling. Some people are just cool, colder and warmer than others, and some rooms get more sun, some rooms get more shade. So yeah, some just a space heater if anyone gets a bit chilly at night. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have a, I have a fair amount of this stuff, uh, but the rest I'm gonna buy on Amazon and buy it uh, Costco. Yeah, let's go do the install and organization real quick. And uh, yeah, we'll go through the cost. All right, see you downstairs. So, okay, my budget, I was expecting to spend maybe like $500 on this. And granted, I had some of the stuff already. I'm looking at the cost of installing these shelves, like these, the, the basic wire closet shelf. It's pre, it's not that cheap, but uh, it makes me appreciate all the, the shelving that, that came with the house. So in total, if you were to buy everything, it would cost $800, which is quite a bit. But yeah, 800 bucks for, for everything, if you had to buy everything fresh. Most of the stuff uh, came from Amazon. A good handful of it came from Costco. All the shelving stuff came from Home Depot. Yeah, 800 bucks. That's what you can spend. So 200 bucks goes to the shelf. So 600 bucks, the bulk of that comes from the vacuum and the printer. So it adds up, you know, like a, like a trip to Costco. Wow, those things add up so quickly. Yeah, so that's what we're at, 800 bucks for this whole closet, but you know, what I just wanted to make sure was like, it wasn't just a closet where everything was just thrown in there. I wanted it to be super organized. I think that'll save me a good amount of headache in the future. So yeah, just, I think it was worth the investment. But yeah, we'll see how this uh, evolves and improves and I'll give, I'll give an update later. Thanks so much for watching. I know this wasn't the most exciting topic, but I hope it came in handy in some, in some way or another. This is, this is my first YouTube video oh my god yeah thank you so much i really appreciate it you guys watching do like and subscribe once again my name is nathan super cool so like i said earlier i'm an airbnb super host um i'm also a real estate photographer this youtube channel is just to um yeah i just want to just want to have some fun with it i hope you enjoy watching me <laughs> i hope you enjoy watching me and yeah let's uh, you know come on this journey with me. I'll take you through the process of, of me growing this YouTube channel and, and growing whatever things I'm working on at the time. And yeah, just come along the journey with me. So look forward to it. Thank you so much again. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.